If you're looking for a classy look for prom, look no further. Hi, I'm Mishdi Max and I'm here to share this eye look with you. It's my go-to eye look that I whip out when I want to go classic Mishdi. I usually wear these eyes with a matte red lip, but today I've got something else on. If you're interested in this lip art look, click the screen or find the link in the description box. Feel free to click the screen if you want to see more pictures and a list of products on my blog. For a neutral day look, please keep on watching. To keep my hair out of my face, I'm wearing this head scarf from Cheesecake Dolls on Etsy. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Make sure you get some under your eyes because we'll be putting a lot of eyeshadow there too. There's a couple of ways you can achieve the winged out shape that I like. You can use sticky tape and actually attach it along the sides of your eyes going up from your lower lash line or you can clean up later with some makeup remover. I'm going to go with sticky tape this time because I like the way the sharp outer edge looks and the blend from the crease. First stick the sticky tape to the back of your hand like this to take off some of the stickiness and then apply it to the side of your eye. I like to line it up with my lower lash line and go up towards my eyebrow. Make sure the sticky tape is firm against your face. That looks about even and if there's any irregularities in the shape you can fix that later. Now onto the black base, and I like to use one of two products. I've got Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner here, and I've also got Inglot Matte Gel Eyeliner in 77. For today, I'm going to go with the Black Matte Gel Eyeliner from Inglot, and I'll be using a Sigma F70 Concealer Brush to apply it. Apply this on your lid close to the lashes, and blend it up towards your crease. I'm grabbing a Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush to blend that out. Blend out that black base along the sticky tape line. Grab a Q-tip to fade the rest of the crease out into a nice blend. Then you should have a delightful mess, something like this. Now moving on to the brow bone, I'm going to use this Sigma F70 medium angled shading brush and I'm going to apply this peach shade from Inglot, which is 111R. I'll be taking the lightest shade and also applying it over the edge of the crease. I'll also be applying this darker shade in the trio to the crease overlapping the black base. This will help in blending out the dark matte black eyeshadow. Grabbing the same concealer brush from before, I'm taking Bulletproof from Sugar Pill and applying it over the lid. Definitely expect fallout when using dark shadows, that's why you should do your foundation after your eyes. Apply the eyeshadow up to the crease and also along the sticky tape line, creating that winged shape. Get a small blending brush like the Sigma E47 shaded crease and blend out that black eyeshadow. The peach tone transition shade will help us blend that out. Grab a touch more of the black eyeshadow and add it to the crease. For this look, I like the eyeshadow to appear above my crease when I have my eyes open, so that's the shape I'm going for. Keep working at the crease and layering the transition shades, and then you'll get the blend you desire. I like to apply some of my go-to blush to my crease as well. This is MAC Cantaloupe, and it's a matte peach tone, so it works perfectly for the blending. I'm going to apply that into the crease with an EB15 from Sedona Lace. I'm going to go back in with the Peach Inglot shade and buff that out. Going back with Sugar Pill Bulletproof and a small crease brush. And finally a bit more of the blush. And I'm brightening up the brow bone one more time with the light peach shade from Inglot. Now I'm going to go back in with the flat brush and bulletproof to make sure the lid stayed dark as black and the fallout from doing the crease didn't make it all muddy. And you should have something like this. At this point you take off the sticky tape and voila you're left with a very crisp line but still a lot of fallout. I'm going to clean up the fallout with Bioderma Micellar Solution and a cotton pad. I don't know how it gets all over my nose, my lips, sometimes on my forehead. <laughs> Black eyeshadow is crazy. You can spend this time correcting the shape if you'd like to, or you can do that later. Now I'm going to go in with the Inglot Matte Gel Eyeliner in number 77 and this Sigma E11 Eyeliner Brush and do my tight line and waterline and smudge that out onto the lower lash line too. Get that right into the roots of your eyelashes. You want no skin peeking through, just all black. Wiggle your brush back and forth so you can get between all of the lashes. Also add a very fine line on your upper lash line with the same gel liner. And now for the waterline. Go in with a small smudger brush like this one from Sigma, the E21 smudge brush, and rub that liner into your eyelashes. If you need some finer help, go back in with a thin eyeliner brush.
You can also use a Q-tip to blend that out. It may take some time, but it's definitely worth it to get a full smoked out lower lash line. Make sure you join up the lower lash line to your outer wing as well. And make sure you get that pointed tear duct in there too. The lower lash line ain't nothing without some more bulletproof. Go back in with that smudge brush and smoke it out. This will definitely help to make the lower lash line opaque and blend it out well. I'm going in with a Sigma E30 pencil brush to blend that out further, making sure to join up with the outer wing. You can go in with your transition shade or your peach blush shade to blend that out further. And you should have something like this. Get a Q-tip and some makeup remover if you want to clean up the outer edge. Now I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shuamura Lash Curler. And now apply L'Oreal Telescopic Lashes in extra black. Make sure you wiggle the wand at the roots of the lashes to get maximum mascara right there. I'm applying plenty of mascara to make my lashes stand out against the dark lid. You know you're done when you've got your lashes just clumpy enough. And also add plenty of mascara to your lower lashes. I'm just removing the excess mascara on the ends of my lashes so they don't touch my under eye area and leave black marks. You can comb through your eyelashes with a Tweezerman lash comb to make sure they don't get too clumpy. There's a couple of ways you can go with your lashes. Leave it with lots of mascara or add outer corner false lashes. I think I'm just going to leave the mascara today. If you want to get concealer right up to the edge of your outer wing, use a flat brush to apply it. This will highlight and exaggerate that area. For brows, I'm using Revlon Eyebrow Liner in Blonde and Benefit Give Me Brow. And here's the finished eyes. To keep my hair out of my face, I'm wearing this headscarf from Cheesecake Dolls on Etsy. If you're interested in this edgy, spiky, rhinestone lip art, click the screen or find the link in the description box. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And for more subtle, neutral makeup, please subscribe. Click the little boxes if you want to see other tutorials of mine. For more Mishti Max, check the description box. You'll find all my social media proclivities. I'm Mishti Max everywhere and I'll see you there. Feel free to click the screen if you want to see more pictures and a list of products on my blog. Who knows?